Here's today's news. The Arizona Republican Party is under fire for a tweet suggesting their supporters die for President Trump. So far, nobody's responded because those willing to die for Trump already did. Alarm bells are sounding as the CDC is requesting personal information of Americans vaccinated for COVID-19. The CDC says the information is needed to determine which demographics are considered high risk and which will be euthanized. <clears throat> Outside of the normal conspiracies, such as the vaccine is a demonic chip planted inside of you to enslave the human race, or that the vaccine will cause autism, people believe that the COVID vaccine may be used to sterilize the human population. Fingers crossed. There's just entirely too many people. In other news, Rudy Giuliani has tested positive for COVID-19. Doctors do expect him to fully recover and exploit another American tragedy. With mounting public pressure, the COVID vaccine will prove to be the toughest challenge anti-vaxxers have had since failing their GEDs. In sporting news, Floyd Mayweather has agreed to fight viral idiot Logan Paul in an exhibition fight. Mayweather decided to take the fight after back-to-back -back losses to illiteracy and gambling addiction. When asked why he took the fight, Mayweather said, because I want to show the world that I can completely destroy the sport of boxing. Logan Paul's other gay brother, Jake, recently challenged Conor McGregor in a fight after knocking out 36-year-old not-boxer Nate Robinson. Of course, uh, boxing fans are wondering what next. Is Canelo Alvarez going to fight this mongoloid? Fucking stupid. That's today's news.